North Brisbane psychologist here. Just wanted to share something from my brain, a reflection just now walking out of the supermarket. The reflection was on the difference between when we're in a good mood versus when we're not in a good mood, how our mind appraises and evaluates the situation. So I'm in a pretty good mood today. I've had some good feedback from my HR director who said I've really helped a team within a government department I've been working with. I had a lovely conversation with um, a South African psychologist that I'm talking with about joining our practice down the track and I saw some lovely clients today. So I'm in a good mood and it's Friday afternoon and I noticed a couple of things, very subtle. The checkout lady was really nice to me. Um, there was a couple of kids who were coming and hanging around me somebody was looking at me on the escalator and my mind was interpreting it like this hey I must have a pretty good energy these people are you know looking at me kids are hanging around people are being nice on a different day when I'm in a bad mood or not such a good mood I might think what are you looking at me for go away leave me alone you know like get irritated same behavior different interpretation I noticed that my mind does this and if your mind's anything like my mind you have a similar experience of your mind just giving you stuff brains have a mind of their own as they say at Beyond Blue and sometimes we just find thoughts popping into our mind thoughts happen thoughts appear so it's really interesting just to notice them and go huh I'm evaluating that as really a good thing today but maybe tomorrow if the same thing happens I might see it differently there's nothing about the situation or the person or the external reality um, sometimes as what's going on in our perception and interpretation the mind is powerful I often give an exercise to people in my office I say close your eyes think of a really good time in your life think of someone you really love notice how you feel in your body notice your breath and then I say now let's switch think of a really hard time in your life think of a really difficult upsetting situation that you've been in go right into that see that in your mind clearly now notice how you feel in your body and people realize that their physiology changes their feelings change just by thinking and remembering certain things with their mind nothing changed they were still sitting on my comfy chair in the office and their feelings changed radically from the first part to the second part of that exercise the mind is powerful and remember this life is full of play, praise and blame praise and blame it's a Buddhist proverb life is full of praise and blame so therefore practice contentment one of the ways to practice contentment or to be on an even keel be at peace is to notice your thoughts and be interested make a study of your own mind like I did leaving the supermarket just now and go hmm how interesting I'm not gonna get too caught up in those thoughts I'm just gonna notice them I think that's a really helpful start so give that a try have a good weekend